This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Horse racing's greatest drought came to an end tonight. American Pharaoh won the Belmont Stakes and is the Triple Crown winner. The CBS News correspondent Winnie Gillette reports from Elmont, New York. American Pharaoh made it look easy. American Pharaoh is finally the one! American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown! He led the entire race and handily won the Belmont Stakes to clinch the Triple Crown. Thrilling the sellout crowd of 90,000. We just watched history. It was beautiful, amazing. I've got chills. It was awesome. Affirmed last won all three races the Kentucky Derby, Preakness, and Belmont back in 1978. 37 years in the making. It's incredible because who knows when the next time somebody's going to win. Since then, 12 horses have been in the winner's circle at the Derby and Preakness, but fell short on the mile and a half track here at Belmont. All of the horses in Saturday's race were fresher than American Pharaoh, having skipped the Derby, the Preakness, or both. And it wasn't just a win. He blew them away. So it, to me, it means he's a real horse. This guy should keep running. But that's unlikely. American Pharaoh's breeding rights were sold late last month, and his fees are now at a premium. Horse industry experts predict he could make his owners as much as $100 million. The Cincinnati Reds meeting up with the San Diego Padres for a three-game series at Great American Ballpark. Game two going on this afternoon. We pick it up in the bottom of the third. Padres pitching was struggling. Reds up 3-0. Zach Kozart grabs a hold of one, sends it into the fans in center field. 4-0. The Reds were cruising. To the bottom of the fourth inning we go. San Diego defense not doing anything to help out the pitching either. You see the misplay the ball. Another Cincy run comes around. Lee pushed to five to nothing. Well, and then bad things start happening to the Reds. Top of the seventh base is loaded. Alonzo, goodbye. Hammered out of the park. Reds just watched a five nothing cushion turn into a tie ball game. And it doesn't get any better. Top eight bases juiced again. Matt Kipp singles to left. Two runs come across. And that would do it. Padres grabbed the come from behind win 9 to 7 over the Reds. A final score coming from the state baseball tournament tonight at Whitaker Bank Ballpark in Lexington. The West Jessamyn Colts beat Highlands 10 to 3. West Jess head coach Jody Hamilton becomes the first coach in the state to win two state titles at two different schools. First one at Boyd County back in 2001. West Jessamyn is the first 12th region state baseball champion since Somerset in 1974.